All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, we actually have a little bit of a different setup today. So got like a new top down rig. So we're gonna see kind of how this works. Um, I hope it, you can kind of see everything pretty well. So yeah, let's let's get into it. So um, this video, if you didn't see the title, <laughs> um, it is, well basically it's, it's about the iPhone 13 Pro. Now some of y'all might know so this is the iPhone 13 Pro, and it was released a year ago. Uh, well, slightly over a year, about a year and a month, I guess. Probably about that, I'd say. Yeah, about a year and a month. And so, I mean, I've had it since, not since launch, but like, um, I've had it almost a year, but it's been a year since it's come out. So I'm gonna give my um, after a year impressions, okay? And I apologize too, it is so like, dirty but you know can't really do too much about that so just gonna have to suck it up um but yeah so let's get into it so number one our first thing here is it's cheaper now cheaper like as in because so now you know we got the 14 pro um obviously it's going to be a bit cheaper and i mean the good news is this is still like a fully functioning fully working iphone it is no like, it's not outdated or anything, you know? Like, it's it's a fully working iPhone, and it's cheaper. So, let me check on, maybe, for example, if you wanted to go on, like, eBay, you know? Like, if you wanted to go there and see if you could find, like, an iPhone 13 Pro for cheaper. So, let's, let's look at how um, the pricing kind of looks on there real quick. All right, so we're just on eBay.com, and, I mean, you can get, like, refurbished phones in, like, a lot of different places, but we're just we're just gonna look at eBay for now. So if you look, so we have um, Apple 13 Pro, 128 gigs, all colors, unlocked, good condition. So that is seven hundred sixty dollars. Looks like to be the more expensive version. Nine hundred dollars. I definitely would not buy one for nine hundred dollars at that point. Like go with a a 14 Pro. Like you're that you know yeah. Um, um let's see, seven hundred. That wouldn't. I ugh, that's a lot. Um, so it kind of looks like it's around $800 most of the time. So, uh, kind of keep that one in mind there. But yeah, so you can, you can buy it refurbished off of like eBay or somewhere else. Um, I don't think Apple sells them refurbished anymore, especially not like at the store. They might, or if you have like a, if you get like a carrier deal or something, you can try getting it like refurbished like that. Um, but I don't think you can get them at Apple or anything anymore. So yeah, so it's cheaper. So, you know, you're getting a lot of the same features and things except for cheaper. So next thing we're gonna talk about is the camera actually. So this phone still has an amazing camera. So if we go into, if we go into the camera app here, um, like the camera app, like it's still amazing. Like you can still take great photos. Like let's just, let's do like this AirPods case here. Like if we go into portrait mode and then get like a little picture of these here like it's still great you still got tons and tons of detail for days like it's not you're not really gonna just be running out you know like the camera's amazing and like you're still getting you're getting like the ultra wide the main and the telephoto like you're still you're still getting all of that and you also got macro don't know how well you guys can see that but you do get macro so yeah, but the camera, honestly, like, it's pretty, it's pretty great. Like, no real complaints. And, I mean, if you look at it here, like, the things are huge. <laughs> like, they're absolutely huge. Like, they're really big. And it also is quite, like, thick, too. Like, it is, it's definitely on the thicker side, you know? So, like, your camera, if you go with a 13 Pro over a 14 Pro, the cameras really aren't gonna, like, you're not gonna notice a very big difference. Now, granted, the 14 Pro does have a new 48 megapixel main camera, uh, while this one only has a 12 megapixel, but, like, are you really gonna notice that big of a difference? Like, obviously, yeah, the more you, like, zoom in and stuff, the, like, the, the better it's gonna, or the higher resolution is gonna be, but, like, look at that, like, this was taken on this phone, as you guys saw, like, that's still, you're still great resolution, you know, like, you're not just going to be running out, and, I mean, if you're trying to take, like, bigger, 
uh, photos or, of, or whatever. Um, you know, like there's, there's going to be its reasons to have a higher resolution. But the other thing too is you can't really, like, it won't really work out because the only way to take photos with that 48 megapixel camera properly with all 48 megapixels is to use the raw photos and see the problem with that is that bumps up these photos from what like seven megabytes to 75 megabytes or whatever like that's 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 a lot that's they take up a lot of storage you know so i i don't i don't know if that's necessarily worth it for everybody but i mean the camera is amazing like you're still getting a great camera Obviously, you have LiDAR there, you have the microphone, the flash, and then main, ultra-wide, and telephoto. So, I mean, you're still getting an absolutely amazing uh, camera system. And, I mean, the front, too. Like, the front, it's not, yeah, it doesn't have autofocus. It's not as fancy as um, the new 14 cameras are. But you're still, you still got a lot going for it, you know? Like, I mean, you got everything there that you need there. You got Face ID, all that stuff. So... For the cameras, like if you're just like if you're going if you have a 13 Pro and you're upgrading to the 14 Pro for the cameras, don't like it's not worth it just for the cameras alone. Um, so yeah, so there's that. Um, now let's talk about battery life. So there's been a couple a couple things about battery life lately, and I will admit, um, some people are having worse battery than others. So let's first off look at my battery usage real quick. Let me just pull it up. Um, there we go. So now I've had this phone for about a year now. Uh, the, the maximum capacity is at 97% and I'd say that's pretty good. Now, I mean, I've had some longer days with like nine hours. Uh, I do believe I ended up charging it that day. If I had to guess, I, okay, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I, it looks like I ended up charging it that day. So Battery life, okay, on iOS 15.7, I believe, is whatever, like, the, the, uh, the latest one was, um, it is amazing, like, I was getting a full day every day, never had to top it up, now, I'm, I'm a, probably a moderate user, I would say, I'm not, like, a super hardcore user or a super light user either, so, like, yeah, I mean, overall, battery life has been great on this phone over the past year, um, now, I am on iOS 16.1 beta 4 right now, and just iOS 16 in general has not been the most amazing with battery life, which, I mean, that's kind of to be expected. Like, it's it's going to be like that, and I apologize. I am getting this thing so dirty. Um, but, like, it's not going to be the absolute best, and, you know, like, that's fine. It's going to get better. Um, now, the thing with the 14 Pros is, for those of you who don't know, the 14 Pro actually has an always-on display, and... Some people are saying they're having issues with the always-on display, and, uh, I mean, that's, you know, like, some people hate it, some people love it, it's, it, I don't know, you know, I kind of like it, it's kind of hard to say for sure. I would say it's overall fine, though, so, yeah, um, but anyway, so it's, it's overall, I would say it's pretty good, I like it, um, but yeah, but the thing is, a lot of people are saying, it's actually draining battery faster than it should. And I know, you know, some people are not very happy with that. But overall, you know, with the improvements of the A16 mixed with a slightly larger battery, I'd say. No. Oh, goodness. I think it's probably about the same size battery. But overall, it's pretty, you're pretty much going to be getting the same battery, if not maybe worse by like half an hour. Because of that always on display, of course. Um, but overall, it's great, and I expect it to get better as iOS 16 progresses. So, next is uh, the premiumness of it. Now, this phone still feels very premium. And also, I gotta say real quick, um, my microphone might die here in a minute, so kind of gonna hope it doesn't. So, yeah. But anyway, so it still feels very premium. It still looks very premium. Now, you, of course, have the uh, the flat edges. You know, the, they're, they've been rounded off. I did not mean to take a screenshot. Um, you have, you know, the matte glass back, the, the beautiful OLED screen, like, you know, the stainless steel sides, which are absolutely awful and covered in fingerprints. Uh, let's get that off there real quick. Um, you know, they're, they're shiny, you know, they looking fresh. Um, and you know what, like they're still, they're still good, you know, like 
this whole phone, it still feels very premium, and I still really like Alright, so we're back. Um, kind of had a couple issues. The microphone did die, so we're using a different one. So, hopefully that won't compromise the rest of the audio quality of this video. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, what I was basically saying was, like, it still feels like an amazing phone. It still feels very premium. Um, and I, I like it, you know? Like, you're not gonna feel very much more like it's not gonna feel like an entirely different phone if you purchase an iphone 14 pro after you've already owned a 13 pro you know um so yeah so next i believe all right so still got the pro features so what i mean by that is for example 120 hertz now i can't really show you guys this on camera but, like, this phone feels very, very smooth. Like, when scrolling or or whatever. Like, it just, it feels very smooth. And it's because it still has a 120 hertz display. Now, it's the same as the, so the 13 Pro and Pro Max, 14 Pro and Pro Max, have the ProMotion display. So that means it can refresh down from 10 hertz all the way to uh, 120 hertz. So... It feels amazing. It's super smooth. I love, like, I just, I love the way it feels and just is, you know? And, I mean, it's great, you know? I, I really like it. Um, so, yeah. So, I, you know, you're not missing out on the 120 hertz if you go with a 13 Pro over a 14 Pro. So, next, uh, let's see. Okay, now, here is, okay, so here's a bit of a, a, a different one, a controversial one, I guess we'll say. Now, for those of you that know, the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max, probably one of their biggest features is the Dynamic Island. And I'm just going to kind of describe it here. But it's um, it's like the, the notch is now like this sort of pill cutout thing. It's hard to explain, but for those of you, you've probably seen it. I mean, honestly. But it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's cool feature thingy i don't know we're gonna say that well um you know th that's that's the feature with the 14 pro the 13 pro uh as you guys can know already probably know it, it doesn't have that so let's turn let's turn let's kind of get a good view of the notch so you guys can see i mean it's it's the notch like it's you're familiar with it you know what it is it's the notch well i mean the 14 pro it has the hole punch now here's the thing a lot of people were kind of complaining, but, like, this, actually, let's, let's leave it on light mode here. The notch really, like, it, it does look kind of awkward and ugly when you're looking at it, but, like, for the most part, you really aren't, like, thinking about it very much, you know? Like, it's really not something you think about, but, like, with the Dynamic Island, it's this whole feature that, um, you know, you think about it, you look at it all the time, like, it's made to be looked at and used, and so, if you don't like, it becomes more of a distraction, you know, so, I, I personally think a pro to the 13 pro, like, buying that over the 14 pro, is, if you don't want to be distracted by, like, a notch, or, or, or a dynamic island or anything, go with this phone, because although it has a notch, because nothing's really happening up there, and it doesn't move or anything, you're not really gonna notice, like, you're, you're just gonna forget about it, like, trust me, like, people make it a big deal, you're gonna forget about it after, a week if not less of just using the phone normally um so yeah so that's really all my points here um if i had to like okay if money okay obviously if money wasn't really a problem i would say go with a 14 pro it's better you know not like certain things really just aren't that much better at all but then other things like you know these new features and stuff like they're great and I will admit, too, this isn't actually part of the video. It's just a little bonus thing I wanted to say. The The 13 Pro, Pro Max, and every other phone before the 14s all have a SIM card tray in the USA. So, for those of y'all that don't know, Apple actually removed the SIM card tray in the United States only. Um, to eSIM? Um, not, not a fan of that. I, most people aren't actually a fan of that at all. But they did it. And so, if you aren't, if you like switch SIM cards a lot, or if you don't think you're gonna like that, buy a 13 Pro because you're you're if if you live in the USA, you're missing out on a SIM card tray in every other 
or in the USA, I mean. So yeah, anyways, back to what I was going to say. Um, overall, if, y if money's not an object, again, totally, buy a 14 Pro, it's better. Now, most people, to most people, money is 100% an object, and you don't want to, like, you know, maybe you have this phone and you're like, should I upgrade, or if you have an older phone, like a, an 11 or 10 or something like that, it's like, should you upgrade to this phone for cheaper or buy a 14 Pro, like, you, it's, it's hard to tell. Well, I would say, um, since for most people money is an object, I would probably say go for this phone discounted. It, I know, like, to some people, it's like, why why do that? Just, like, the best phone is the best phone. Like, you just go with that. But, like, you know, like not everybody has $1,000 they can just drop on a phone. So, <laughs> excuse me. If you have, like, an older phone, I would say go for a 13 Pro discounted. It's totally worth it. You're barely missing out on anything. Barely. And, I mean, if, if certain features of the 14 Pro and Pro Max are useful to you, like... Uh, crash protection, the dynamic island, the always on display. I can't really think of any more right now. But if those main features are important to you, then yeah, go with go with a 14 Pro or Pro Max or whatever. But to the ma the vast majority, I would say go with a 13 Pro. It's it's you're getting one less year of software support, and this one's still got it going for probably five five or six more years. So by then you're gonna want a new phone anyway, so you're good to go. Um, but yeah, so hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. If you guys want to see more content like this, please let me know. Um, I really enjoy making this for y'all, so yeah, uh, tell me if you like it. So, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see y'all in the next one. So yeah, bye guys.